Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and welcome to my channel. Now, a lot of information has been emerging about the $300 a week unemployment benefit extensions and by now it's pretty clear that there's a lot of inequality as far as the $300 a week unemployment benefit extensions are concerned. I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Specifically, there are five reasons why there is inequality across the country as far as the president's $300 a week enhanced unemployment benefit well, is concerned. We're talking about the Lost Wages Assistance Program, which was set up as a direct result of the president's executive action. So let's jump into the five reasons. But before I jump into it, let me know what you think of my brand new glasses. I got some brand new glasses. These are prescription Gunnar glasses. They are anti-glare glasses. So I'm actually going to put on the second set of glasses and uh, let me know what you think of these and whether you think I should uh, stick with uh, the first ones or the second ones. Let me know what you think. I'd, I'd like to know. Uh, what you guys uh, feel because you know your opinion your feedback is important to me so let's jump right in there are five reasons the first reason why there is some inequality in the $300 a week unemployment benefit extension from the lost wages assistance program is that some workers are already getting paid now the reason I say this is inequality is a whole bunch of people have not yet gotten paid so at the time I'm recording this video 42 states have applied for the uh, for the FEMA money through the DRF program and these funds come from the $44 billion as you know. Some states have already started getting the money. As you know, Arizona individuals, uh, residents in the state of Arizona already started getting the money. Texas has also already started receiving the money. So some states have already started receiving the money. In fact, unemployed individuals in the state of Arizona got the benefits starting the 17th of August. So it's been well over a week since they started getting those benefits and they started getting those benefits just two days after FEMA approved the state and provided the state with money and, and individuals in Texas started getting their benefits a few days ago and that's been uh, good news as well. Missouri and Louisiana have also started getting their benefits and they actually expected to start sending out more and more benefits in the coming days. So again, this means not everybody has gotten the benefits. So that was the first reason some workers are already getting paid. The second is Many, many individuals will need to wait a few weeks, potentially much longer. Therein lies the inequality because not everyone's getting paid at the same time, which by the way is what happened with the $600 a week unemployment booster, the federal booster that ended uh, almost a month ago at this point in time. So with the $600 a week booster, it essentially went through all the state systems through the existing unemployment benefits program. But this one, nope, it's a completely separate program. So some states like Alaska, Maine, Georgia and Mississippi said that they have to reconfigure their computer systems to handle the new payments, a process that could take a couple of weeks for some states and as long as six weeks, eight weeks for other states because a lot of these states have outdated systems that have already been strained by the historically high levels of unemployment. And some states like Alabama are still waiting for the money to come through from FEMA. So that's basically what's going on right now. And some states like Utah, Rhode Island, Kentucky and Connecticut are hoping to start paying out the money by mid-September. So there's a lot of discrepancy, if you will, between when states are handing out this money. California said it will start handing out the money sometime next month. Florida just said a couple of days ago that they're going to participate in the program and apply. And Colorado, Indiana, Maryland and Oklahoma are planning on sending out checks in the next couple of weeks. And Alaskans could be waiting until October because the state said that they were approved to participate in the program, but they needed six to eight weeks, according to Kathy Manos, who is the deputy commissioner of the state's Department of Labor and Workforce Development. So there's a lot going on. Many other states have applied for benefits like Pennsylvania, Tennessee, North Carolina, New York, uh, which initially didn't want to apply. And then they applied and Montana, Iowa, New Mexico, Idaho, Washington, Michigan have all applied for the benefits, but they have not released dates as to when they'll start sending out the money. The third inequality is that not everyone will get the full $400, which was the intention of the president's executive order. In fact, the president said so, that individuals would be getting $400 a week. So not everyone is going to get $400 a week. In fact, a majority of individuals will not get the $400 a week. States have the option of using their state unemployment funds and uh, which, you know, which individuals are receiving anyway to cover the cost or to match the $100 that they were supposed to put in. This means a majority of individuals will only see $300 because the state will simply not chip in, especially when you consider the fact that a lot of the states are A, underfunded and B, they've already earmarked a lot of the money that came in through the CARES Act for other purposes. Remember, states have other expenses. 
States have to pay for healthcare, states have to pay for education, states have to pay for the local services that we are accustomed to. So states have a lot of expenses, more so than many of us probably know. So that's where things stand right now. Let, let me flip these glasses so that, uh, you know, you guys can get a sense. Let me know. Uh, let me know if I should just, you know, switch or just uh, keep one. Okay. Other states like Kentucky and Montana are using federal emergency money under the CARES Act to cover their share of the cost. So workers will indeed see a full $400 a week increase. So some states are providing the full $400 a week. And uh, in Vermont, the state government expects to start paying out the benefits in the coming weeks. According to Governor Phil Squat, he did request $20 million from the state legislature so that uh, they can pay residents in Vermont the full $400. Now, that was point number three. Let's get to point number four, which is which sort of contributes to the inequality in the $300 a week distribution. And that is as more states start paying out more benefits, the money will run out quickly. What this means is if some states take time to apply or are slow in applying, keep in mind, Florida just applied, you know, but Arizona applied more than two weeks ago and already started getting the money. So if some states wait to apply, the money could run out. That's that's how it works. So the amount of funding available from FEMA to cover this benefit is limited. It's about $44 billion to the DRF fund. And the more states that apply, the quicker the money will run out. And experts expect that the fund will get uh, exhausted in about uh, five weeks. Now, keep in mind, Hurricane Laura has already made landfall in Louisiana. So if you're in the path of Hurricane Laura, please, please, please stay safe and listen to local officials. We'll pray for you. But keep in mind that the funding for these kinds of for, for these kinds of uh, natural disasters comes from FEMA. So FEMA is going has set a cap and said, hey, when this money runs out, the forty four billion dollars, that's it. And then you know states will probably not be able to pay the three hundred dollars a week, or may have to come up with another way to pay the three hundred dollars a week. So at least ten states have applied for the program, but have not yet been officially approved at the time we are recording this video. So again, if this information changes, I'll let you know. But please type out in the comment section below. And uh, let us uh, know if any of these states have already gotten funding. Some of these states include Illinois, Nevada, Delaware, Oregon, uh, Florida, New Jersey, Ohio, and Wyoming. So if any of these states have indeed gotten funding, let us know in the comment section below. And also check out the FEMA website because the FEMA website has the latest updates uh, about all of these states. And finally, this is the big one as it pertains to the inequality. Some states may never make the payments despite the president's executive action. By the way, the president's executive action provided money for the states and states would have to apply. So it's not like this money sort of just is went to the states like the original $600 a week booster did. This is an application process where the states get a grant, they take the grant money and then they distribute it to their residents. So there are more steps involved because it is a separate program. So more than a dozen states have, uh, have not yet applied for the program yet at the time I'm recording this. Their main concern is how are they going to pay their $100. And uh, while states can indeed use the CARES Act money that they got through the CARES Act uh, to pay their $100 portion, some states are simply cash strapped and they're holding on to that money, hoping that Congress will provide them with more flexibility in the next aid package because state revenues are declining significantly. Um, in fact, some states have already started to make cuts uh, in their local budgets and in their local services. And states are just struggling to pay out their regular jobless benefits let alone having to come up with the $100 uh, if, if they can to pay for these extra benefits. So that's where things stand right now. And state officials are hoping that uh, Congress can intervene and make it much, much easier for them. So that's it, everybody. Let me know what you think of this inequality, if you will, with the $300 a week lost wages assistance program that was set up by the president. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. Please click like, please click subscribe, please enable notifications. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. It helps us. It helps me and my team. It motivates us to create more content for you, which is hopefully beneficial for you. Please like, please share this video with other, with your friends and family members in other states so that hopefully they can benefit. They have so that they understand exactly what's going on with the $300 a week unemployment benefit program, which is which is impacting tens of millions of our fellow Americans. If you learn something new, please click like, please click subscribe, please enable notifications. If you don't know anything about me, my name is Dr. Nitin Choda. I have the fortune, the honor, the privilege of living the American dream. And I want to help you live your American dream if you give me the opportunity and if you give me the honor. Also, get your cell phone out and send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000. 
that's 70000 and you'll get added to our SMS list. You can also get added to our email list and you can opt out at any time. We release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. So please make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Thank you. Bye.